Hi, I'm Emily. It's 5.40 in the morning, and I'm on my way to go crew on a student short film. But that's not why you're here. You're here to watch what I'm doing right now. We're the mechanism. We did it. We checked out of the motel, and now it's breakfast time. Omelette, pepper jack, mushroom, bacon, sausage. And low. Do I need to spin it slower? Eat it. No, I'm spinning it. Eat it. I'm spinning it. Eat it. Wow. We've got a lot of pepper on there. Mm -hmm. This looks very tasty. Mm -hmm. I really like croissants a lot. Everybody finished breakfast. Everybody's saying their goodbyes, going their separate ways. However, we're gonna hang out with uh, Sarah and Patrick a little bit longer. Up on the mountains, right around where we are, there's a waterfall, and I've been wanting to see if I can find a place to launch my drone and get the drone up close to the waterfall. I'm trying to find a place where I don't have to fly over any people or buildings, which this, this place satisfies that requirement, but then I don't have line of sight to where I'm flying, and that's bad. That's real pretty. So this is Kelsey tasting chocolate oh. milk. Uh, you have not mm. ever tasted chocolate milk that you like? No. Okay. It's not, it's just not a thing. What's special about this? Yeah. It's, well, it's farm fresh, you know? It's fresh from the farm, you know? Is that what that means? <laughs> That's what it means. Oh, okay. Good. No. I'm glad we, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Fresh from the chocolate teat. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. You couldn't swallow because I was laughing. It actually, so it's nice pretty one. good. Oh. It tastes just like cold hot chocolate because it's yeah. like thicker. Yeah, Usually chocolate that. milk is like really watery and you're right. like, this is pretty gross. This is actually really good. Boom. Boom. Kelsey, mm -hmm. we're on the road again. On the road again. On the road again. On the road again. She's been craving Subway for days. Jeez. Look what's in here. Uh -huh. A 24-hour Subway. And gambling. Today is day 13 of my latest low-carb adventure. The longest I've been able to stay on it since probably 2012 or 2013. Should I start a stat for Kelsey Fives? That's a top thing. It's not a Kelsey thing. I was worried that a salad at Subway would not be good. It's not bad. Would you get it again? Yeah. Given yeah. that this is the longest road trip that you've ever been on, how do you feel about road trips now? The opinion of this road trip would be biased because I'm going to enjoy spending time with you anyways. Maybe if it was with my family, I had to sit in a car with my parents or my brothers for this long, I would have a uh, poor opinion of road trips, but... Can you imagine what doing this kind of traveling by yourself would be like? Oh, I would be so, I'd be so lonely. I'd be so sad. I'd mm. be listening to lots and lots of music. My voice would sound like this after the road trip only because I'd be singing songs the entire way. I really enjoy spending many hours by myself in a car just driving. I think maybe I really should have been a trucker. Um, I think your talents might have been, uh, might have been wasted if you were a trucker. I'm excited for the impending driverless car revolution. Driverless cars are going to be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, culture-shifting advancement that humans make. 
in the 21st century. I'm excited for a time when you can travel for eight hours in a day, but during that time, be reading, playing video games. It'll be like a little living room on wheels traveling from one place to the other instead of having to focus on not crashing. Michael, imagine all the naps you could take. Mm. So responsibly, too. Uh-huh.